everyone welcome to a new vlog today is friday it's friday morning and i thought i would start the vlog now because i love to start a vlog on a friday because i'm in such a good mood it's you know the last day of the week the first day that we usually have a nice glass of wine in the evening and kind of reflect on the week and get excited about the weekend so i'm always kind of in a good mood so it's a good time to start the vlog on that day i am back in toronto as you can see i'm back home very happy to be back home although i had a really good time in montreal but i feel like whenever i spend a couple days outside of the city and away from home i'm always so excited to come back i'm excited for this weekend as well we have because we have nothing planned it's the first weekend in a while where we're you know there's no plan we're just gonna go with the flow and sort of you know not really think of anything specific that we want to do which I kind of need once in a while we do have to go shopping a little bit because we have two trips coming up that we need to get ready for one specifically we need to plan for a little bit because we're going um, on a trip with my family and it's gonna be kind of a an outdoorsy nature focused trip and I want to make sure I have everything we're going north of Quebec, so it's usually not that warm there. So I'm starting to plan a few things that I'm missing. You know, I don't really have a lot of extremely practical clothes. I do have a couple things that I'm going to bring, like my Uniqlo liners, my Patagonia shorts, my rain boots, my rain hat. Like, I do have some things, but I still need to go to the shop and kind of get some heat tech if... Um, Uniqlo has it and maybe go to a couple of other outdoorsy stores and see if I see anything that I might need because on the top of my head I'm just bad at planning these kind of trips so I want to kind of spend this weekend walking around and do a little bit of that kind of shopping which should be really fun because I like to do that kind of shopping because um, I'm always discovering new things and yeah so that's what we have planned for the weekend and I wanted to do a little bit of an unboxing with you because I just got this package delivered to my door and it's super exciting and I know you guys like to see what I get from Chanel so let's open this together. I know what's inside but I haven't seen it so we're gonna discover it together. I uh, got very lucky to pick a pair of sunglasses from the fall winter 21 collection and I got to pick from two different styles and one of them really caught my eye because it's a um, like a round shape sunglasses and the last pair of sunglasses that I got from Chanel were my round black one and I really really love them and I thought they suit my face so much that I when I saw these ones I was like I need them because <laughs> I know they're gonna be similar but also different and yeah so here they are they're these gold frame round sunglasses with the tiny little gold logo on the lens and very kind of minimalistic style but such beautiful details let's try them on oh i love them <laughs> I thought I always think they're gonna be kind of smaller but they're quite big on my face which I think is very flattering and yeah I'm super happy it's the first time I try them on I really like the really subtle details I think they're really chic and they go with really everything so yeah very happy about my choice thank you so much to the Chanel team it's always so generous and I always feel so so lucky obviously um, so I'm really really excited to style these and to shoot them one thing to add to my list of things to shoot for the weekend I don't have too much work plan which is great um, I always like to keep my weekend as free as I can but obviously work gets in the way sometimes what else do I need to update you on not much um last week's vlog went up quite late i uploaded it yesterday and usually i upload on monday tuesdays um i just got i in my head my footage was really messy and whenever i think of my footage and i can't really remember what i filmed or i know i was kind of um scattered when i was filming it's always super daunting for me to gather that footage and make 
it a vlog. Um, so I kept pushing it and pushing it because I, I, it was so daunting. Um, but I did it and I hope you guys liked it. It was a short vlog with not much chatting, but um, you know, sometimes vlogs are gonna be like that. So I have a package I need to go and pick up today, which I don't really feel like because it's far from my house. I don't know about you, but I, it seems like whenever DHL, UPS or FedEx come to my house, they go and drop it at the location that's the furthest from my home. Like, there's so many locations that are so close to where I live and somehow it ends up at the other end of the city. So, that's on the agenda today because there is something that I need to shoot in that package. So, I need to do that at some point. I know that Dylan is taking his afternoon at home, so I'm probably gonna try to make him lunch because I know he's super busy usually on Friday. And yeah, I'll keep you posted if anything happens, but if not, I think I'm gonna pick up my camera maybe tonight. We might go out to eat um, if the weather is nice. So far, so good. But yeah, I'll catch up with you later. Hi guys, it's much later. It's 7.30 p.m. and we're just sitting on a patio having a nice glass of wine. And then later we're gonna go to a restaurant. We're on the wait list and it should be really good. What kind of food is it? French? I don't know. I mean, we walked by and it seemed really good. So that's the plan for tonight. It's a really beautiful evening. So we're gonna... This motorcycle is cutting me all the time. So we're gonna eat outside on the patio and enjoy the nice evening. finished a really quick shoot I just shot an outfit that I shot before but I felt like re-wearing and reshoot it again and now I think we're just gonna go do a little bit of shopping and get some lunch because I'm already super hungry this is where we just shot I love these three arches and I thought the beige of the jacket would look really nice with this kind of brick I mean concrete blocks and I think it's gonna look really nice we just went to get a quick lunch we've got some pan fried pork buns some little dumplings sticky rice and two extra pork bun a lot of food but we're very hungry is that a lot of food no I guess it's not a lot of food <laughs> shoot that I have to do so I'm excited as you can probably hear it's raining um, I like summer rain though it's very romantic Dylan just went to get me a coffee because he's got a hood on his jacket my colors reversed that's not good yeah he went to get me a coffee because he's got like a proper rain jacket this one is just looks practical but it's not really waterproof so I really really need a coffee it's a bit late for coffee it's just about four o'clock but I really really need the caffeine fix since you know it started raining it's really gray and we went out last night we had a couple glass of wine I'm kind of hitting that point where you get really tired on the next day so that coffee is gonna hopefully fix me up Tonight we're gonna have dinner at Dylan's parents and then we're gonna go back home. Good morning guys, it's Sunday and we're just 
getting coffee and breakfast. We're at Milou, a French spot, and we've never tried it before. So I ordered a French breakfast sandwich, and Dylan has the classic, and it looks really, really good. the day walking around getting coffee but mostly walking around and it was really hot today so we were pretty tired when we got home we did all the Sunday chores washing cleaning everything so that's why I kind of didn't vlog because there was nothing to vlog but now we came for a really nice walk um, on Lakeshore so just by the the water and it's really nice there's a really nice breeze and it's about to be sunset so very calming I'm just gonna stay here a little while and enjoy the evening here good morning guys it is Monday and it's 7 a.m. I've already had my breakfast and I am drinking my morning coffee Dylan had to go to work super early today. He left around 6. So I decided to wake up with him and um, get my day started really early today, which I really like. I've been watching a couple of YouTube videos, just having my breakfast, taking my time. I do love to wake up early and start the week this way. So that's what I'm doing today. I wanted to pick up the camera now because I am not going to show you the state of the apartment but it's just, it looks like a war zone in front of me. Yesterday we did some washing and it's just drying everywhere. Um, there's a million boxes. We're kind of in the middle of sorting through a lot of things and kind of, you know, organizing everything and getting rid of a few things, bringing stuff in. Um, you know, the apartment is kind of in a very transitional state at the moment and same with my wardrobe. So yesterday I kind of had a, you know, when you get into your wardrobe and you feel anxiety because there's too much stuff and all the stuff is not how you want it to be. Um, that I thought I would start clearing out my wardrobe. So this is a process I do quite often during the year. I don't, I don't like to just do it once a year and then stuff piles up. Obviously, because of my work, I have, I receive a lot of things and my wardrobe is quite, you know, full. But I still like to keep it pretty minimal. So I thought this morning I would start to go through everything and get rid of and take out a few things that I don't wear, that I don't want and decide what I want to do with them, whether it's list them on my vestiaire or um, there's a sort of consignment store here that you can just go and drop everything and then they give you a quote of how much um, it would be worth and then you can decide if you want to consign it, take the money or get a store credit or something and I find it really easy so I might do that but for some of the pieces I might list them on my vestiaire so I thought I would share that with you in this vlog since I'm not sure I have filmed a lot of things I can't even remember so I'm just gonna put that section in the vlog as well and hopefully I'll make some great progress I'm saying I'm gonna start doing it because I usually struggle to do it in one go so we'll see I have other things to do today as well so I'm just gonna start doing this it's a big chore, I don't really feel like doing it, but let's go. Like this Dior vintage blouse that I wore so much, I think like maybe two years ago now with the pandemic and everything. This was my favorite piece of clothing and I haven't worn it for so long now. It has these beautiful buttons at the neck it has the same buttons at the sleeves i think i'm just going to hold on to it because it's a special piece and it's true vintage and it's quite a classic blouse but 
I haven't worn this in so long so yeah hard to hard to decide with those special pieces same with this dress I absolutely love this dress but I still haven't worn it this summer I feel like with um, with this wardrobe clear out I also need to kind of make a section of the pieces that I want to give a second chance to like this dress maybe I should bring it with me on one of my upcoming trips and really give it a good chance because I really like it I think it's beautiful I still but I'm not reaching out for it as much as I should so yeah not ready to let go of that one yet because I feel like I should be able to wear it but at the end of the summer I'll do something similar like this and re reassess for those pieces but I'll give them until the end of the summer to um, give me a good chance a fair chance to wear them or not this Gani sweater which I love and I think is really beautiful for me the only thing is that the sleeves are quite annoying to fit into a coat so I don't reach for it as much as I would so I put it on sale on my vestiaire and somebody just made an offer on it so I think I'm gonna accept it and hopefully they will buy it and it will go to a better home somebody who's gonna wear it a lot more than me I have this set that I really love but I barely worn it's this beautiful uh, Gabrielle Lee blazer so as you can see it buttons like this here and it opens up a little bit just so you can see the shorts underneath so these are some tailored shorts like that sorry they have a little bit of fluff because they were just next to a mohair sweater and they're also wrinkly but I barely ever worn them they have a really nice front pleat at the at the front here and this kind of waistband and it looks really nice underneath this blazer I also love this blazer because it has this detail on the pocket and Gabrielle Lee is a Korean designer and all of his blazers and all of his tailoring is so nice I'm sorry there's so much traffic on the street you must be able to hear it but yeah so I have this set that I wore for a work event at my pe at my previous work and I thought it looked so smart and I thought it looked so great sorry but I've only wore it at a work event when I was working at Hudson's Bay as you can see it has really nice details at the back as well and I still really love it I just don't know if I'm gonna wear it very much because I always tend to reach for other things instead of this and I'm also yet to fix the waist you have no idea how many things in my wardrobe are in this situation with a big safety pin on the side and because I wear these shorts underneath this blazer I tend to not even bother to alter the waist and I'll just pinch them on the side or pinch them at the back same with skirts I I have to alter my skirts at the waist and also at the hem just doesn't even depend on the brand every every skirt or pants I buy I have to alter one inch at the waist and one inch or two inches at the bottom I just don't know if I'm ever gonna go and alter these pants and also I have so many other blazers that I don't know if I need that one so this one's a TBD it might end up on my vestiaire this set I'll give it a good steam and lint roll so that it looks good as new because I've literally wore it once for an event it just looks beautiful but also the gray color for me is not my favorite I I don't tend to wear gray very much because of my skin tone I feel like if I if I'm gonna wear dark colors I'm just gonna go for black instead of gray so yeah that one might end up on my vestiaire I'm pretty much done actually I have all of my clothes laid out here except for everything that's like in like a garment bag I keep a lot of things in garment bags just to protect them from anything that can happen 
we never know I live in a very old apartment so I'd rather keep all my wools in bags and all my wool coats in um, garment bags so all of that I, I know I don't want to give anything away so I am pretty much done here all I need to do is um, put everything on the proper hanger and put it back on my wardrobe and then I'll show you what I'm getting rid of in a second Now I need to do denim I have a huge pile of denim right here that I need to sort through I tend to keep all my denim because you know, I pay a lot for it and it never really goes out of style but there are definitely some pairs that I don't wear enough these are my 12 stories shorts um, I do not have my discount with Farfetch anymore unfortunately but I just washed these for the first time and they look super nice still so I have three pairs of denim shorts I think Also, all my denim is in the same wash. Just all of it. All of it is, oh, maybe these are a bit darker, but that's as dark as I go <laughs> in jeans. Um, yeah, I tend to always, always gravitate towards this wash. And that means all my jeans look the same in my wardrobe and it's a big problem because I never know which ones are which and I definitely don't need that many jeans because I know I only reach for maybe two or three of them these are my other pair of denim jeans these are from uh, Citizen of Humanity and I've kind of taken them in here at the back so that they fit Citizens of Humanity are is a brand that runs really really big I find um, and I had a lot of issues with their jeans so I always I love their jeans but I always have to take them in so much that it kind of changes the shape of them unfortunately where is my other pair of denim shorts oh here I do have the all of my denim shorts are baggy as I mentioned before I really like baggy denim shorts these are the a D with a front twist like that I have the um, the jeans the long jeans in this style which I really love so I decided to get the shorts and they're really good so I think these three pairs of denim shorts I'm gonna keep because they kind of all serve the same purpose but a different purpose for example this um, you know it has a rip hem so it's a little bit more edgy it's also a little bit slimmer these are baggy but they have this detail at the front if I'm wearing a crop top I feel like these are really nice and then these are just my most basic vintage looking denim shorts with kind of very minimal detail so I'm keeping those three for sure where should I start with my jeans? This pair is from Uniqlo and it's their wide, wide leg jeans. I usually, there's like a, you can see there's like a line here. I usually turn them up quite a bit because I haven't altered them at the bottom. They're really nice, but I tend to not reach for them as much because they're not in a um, wash that I really love and they're also really really thin I find that Uniqlo denim is not the thickness let's say of a Levi's or a a Goldie so I don't know these ones are a TBD they're they're really really comfortable because they're soft but for me um, I find jeans a lot more flattering if they're really stiff and uncomfortable <laughs> Jeans are just not meant to be comfortable if you want them to be super flattering on you. These are the wedgie straight fit from Levi's in a size 24. Um, they have a lot of rips on them, so I'm not really sure if I'm, you know, into that anymore. 
uh, TBD as well. I haven't reached for my Levi's in so long. I always, always wear my Eagle D or my um, vintage ones. These ones are the 501 straight. I just find that Levi's, they, they're really, really tight when I buy them and I'm always kind of confident they'll stretch, but once they stretch, they stretch too much and they don't fit anymore. So these, all my Levi's I have the same issue with. They just stretch to the point where even if I wash them, they don't really go back. And my issue is that they gape at the back so much and I don't like to wear a belt with them. So I'm struggling with Levi's at the moment. I think I'm still gonna keep these 501s because they're such a classic style, a lot more classic than the wedgie ones. So I think I'm gonna hold on to this pair because they also have the wash that I really love. Just for now. These Eagle D1, these ones are the, what leg is that? Ugh, I can't remember. I think they're just a straight leg and they have this detail that I find quite nice. Here, they also have this detail at the back. Again, I've, I wore these so, so much. I haven't worn them in so long. What to do, what to do. TBD. I'm building a solid pile of, I'm not sure about. This one is 516. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. These ones I got from a thrift store. Um, I love these because they're not really high-waisted. They kind of sit on your hip bones and they look really nice because they're baggy and they're really long um, at the leg. So they're really, really cool and very relaxed pair of jeans. These ones I'm definitely keeping. Next, next, next. Oh, these ones. Oh my god. These are so old. I got these at Zara when I was shopping at Zara. These must be almost 10 years old. They Zara used to do, I don't even know if they do it anymore, but used to do really good raw denim. These ones are so stiff and they have huge rips at the knee, but they look so flattering still. Every time I wear these, Dylan always asks me, what are those? A goldie? They just look, you know, they have a little bit of a yellow tint to them and they just look really good. I find that I prefer these more than the wedgies, Levi's wedgies. I don't know why my face is so itchy. I haven't put moisturizing yet and I feel like, I don't know, there's a lot of pollen outside. Maybe I'm allergic a little bit. Uh, but these are Zara Woman Premium Denim Collection. They're so old though, size 34. It was before Zara even did like really small sizes and larger sizes. I think now their sizes are a lot more inclusive, but yeah, these I'm gonna keep because they stand the test of time and I still reach for them sometimes when I'm in the mood. These are, these are Levi's, but what's the, they look oh yeah it doesn't say the cut on them i think these are just a slim levi's number they have this rip hem at the bottom gosh these are quite nice though might hold on to these they're just like a nice pair of slim jeans without being too slim and I don't really have a lot of those in fact I think these are my only pair of slim jeans so I'm gonna hold on to them oh these are my Eagle D with the are these the Eagle D with the twist at the front oh no these are uh, a pair of Eagle D with rips at the knees these ones I really love though because they're long at the leg this one is in a size 23, I always go for 23 and an Eagle D because it's the equivalent of a 24-25 in a Levi's. And yeah, I just really like those a lot. 
keeping. And then, what are those? Ugh, another wedgie. Am I into the wedgies anymore? I'm not sure. At a time, I thought the wedgie was the best Levi's fit. I don't know if you guys have any of them, but they're like in between a 501 and a straight leg. I feel like I should maybe try some of those. I'll try some of those that are in the maybe pile because I haven't tried them in so long. I don't even remember how they fit. These are my Eagle D with the twist at the front. Definitely keeping those. They're one of my favorite pair of all time. I'm gonna show them to you. These ones are also in a size 23. Like that, you've seen them a million times. Extra, extra long, which I love. Love the wash as well. So nice. Uh, these are my Levi's. These ones I'm keeping because they're so special and I feel like when I'm older I can pass them on to um, a daughter if I have one or a friend's daughter <laughs> if I don't. Um, if I don't have one. Um, these ones are the, I think, split flare at the bottom. Very kind of 70s disco jeans. They're so fun. Um, and I think I only have one pair left, which are my new Arquette wide leg jeans. They are here. These ones are also a keep. I just got these and they're really, really similar to the Uniqlo ones actually. They're much thinner denim um, and they don't have really this sort of raw denim look to them, but because they're extra, extra baggy, they look really, really nice. So that would be my current edit. And then we have a maybe pal that I need to try on and see if I like them. Well, that's pretty good. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pair of jeans with three pairs of shorts. I mean, I know it's a lot, but <clears throat> you know, I don't need to justify what I'm doing for a living and eat a lot of clothes and yeah I think I'm just gonna try on all of the maybes okay so these are the first pair these are Levi's skinny crop in a quite an like acid wash I mean I don't tend to wear jeans like this anymore at the moment because I'm more into baggy jeans but these are so so comfortable i forgot what it is to have a little bit of stretch in your denim it definitely makes a big difference and i feel like they fit so nicely they also fit really nicely at the back here that i'm gonna hold on to them because sometimes when i wear it well ignore this t-shirt i literally slept in this <laughs> um when i wear longer blazer sometimes i like to have a skinnier jean just because baggy on baggy sometimes is a little too is a little too much so i think i'm gonna keep them because i like the leg i like i like how the leg looks and if i want to have a little bit of a heel with a very oversized knit in the fall i think they could be they could be nice so these are a keep just because i invest a lot in my denim so i want to give this a lot of thoughts these are the eagle d with the rips ignore my feet i have atrocious tan lines because of my sandals um with the little rips at the ankles and the rips at the back here i think this is turning into some kind of a fail uh, clear out of my denim because i remember now why i love these so much they just fit so nice they're so flattering again because the denim is so stiff i literally cannot bend my leg past this point i can't no i can't bend in them but they look so nice and they're actually not you know like i have a lot of room it's just they don't really stretch because i don't think they have any stretch in them actually but 
I mean, they look great. And these were very expensive. A Goldie jeans are like $300. So I keep. These are my Levi's wedgie. Um, these are definitely a get rid of. <laughs> I do not like how they look on me. I don't like the rips. I don't see myself wearing those anymore. I think they fit nicely. Like as you can see, the wedgies are kind of a really nice style um, because they're, I mean, they are tight, but they're not, you know, past the knee. They're quite baggy, so they kind of give off this more relaxed jean style. But no, these ones um, are going to go, unfortunately. Well, fortunately, because I'm making room, but yeah, I'm going to try to sell these actually because they're still in really, really good condition and I barely wore those, I think. But yeah, these are going. Last pair that were on my TBD are these Uniqlo ones. I mean, I love how wide they are. I love like that I have a lot of room. They're super comfortable and also they fit really nicely at the waist. I mean, they like, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of space, but it doesn't show anywhere because they hang on the body quite nicely. I feel like Dylan loves this sort of darker wash. I always, always tend to go for a little bit of a lighter wash. That's why I'm like, do I wear these? Or am I okay with just my baggy Arquette jeans? I don't know. I don't know about these. Let me know what you guys think because I might upload this vlog and I probably will still have not sold everything or I'm probably not gonna have gone to the consignment store yet. So let me know what you think. Should I keep or should I toss in my Arquette ones or just a, a wash that I'm gonna wear more and I only need one pair of wide leg jeans. What should I do? Hey guys, it's a little bit later. I'm done with my closet clear out. Very satisfied by my progress. I did it all in one go. I think I'm done. And I've just finished um, uploading everything on my vestiaire. So if you want to see what I got rid of, just head over to my vestiaire. I'll link everything in the description box so you can look at what I'm selling at the moment there's other things but i'm not going to list them on the vestia because um they're just going to be better to bring to the consignment store as sort of a lot of things i want to sell it's just a little bit easier on my end than uploading every single piece and you know with the shipping and everything it's not really worth the time not that vestia doesn't make it easy for you but you know for items that are a little bit cheaper i'd rather bring it all in one go to one consignment store and let them deal with the work. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to sign off this vlog now because it's already kind of edited and I wanted to do an outro for it. It's quite a long one. Um, there was a, this wardrobe portion took a little bit longer than I was expecting, but I hope you guys will enjoy this casual end to the vlog and yeah. Just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.